Hey bros, Double Eagle sent us one of their M916A airsoft guns for free, so we're gonna check it out. Now on the front of the box it says Honey Badger, and it also says um, the all new Falcom Electronic Gearbox. So I think that could be something that's really cool. So it looks like it has a selector switch that you can select it from one to five shots per trigger pull. It looks like it also has a sensitivity setting on the trigger. I think it'll also tell you error information, like if something's stuck, if there's uh, over voltage, or if your battery is running low, and stuff like that. All right, so let's go ahead and open it. All right, it looks like you kind of got a tan or olive colored blaster. And here's what it looks like in the packaging. So that's cool. And in the packaging, we get a mag, and I'm not sure yet, but it, maybe it's a high cap mag. We get a spring. So I wonder if this is a second spring or the only spring that we got to put in or an extra one that's stronger that gives you a higher FPS. And here is the airsoft gun. And it's pretty nice, it's heavy. This has got a lot of metal in it. All right, so let's take a closer look at this gun. On the top, you have Picatinny rail. It's one long one, and then you have a separation, and then up front where the front side is attached to, you have another little bit of Picatinny rail. On the handguard itself, you've got M-lock rails, and it's even got like a little cover on each side, right here, that you can take out and attach stuff to it. The handguard is plastic, the flash hider is plastic and orange, and there's a little hex bolt in there that you can unscrew it and take it off. The stock is plastic, and you have a little button here that you can extend the stock with. And if you want to remove the stock, there's a little lever here that you've got to pull all the way down really far, and then you can slide it off and get to the battery cable. And the type of battery connector you have here is a Dean's connector. The receiver is full metal and the buffer tube is metal. You have a rear sight here and you have two different aperture settings, a wide one and a very narrow one. I think it can be adjusted for windage with these little knobs on the side here. You have a front flip up side and it has an adjustable post height with this little knob here. You have an ambidextrous selection switch, which it is safe, semi, and full. You have the charging handle here, and when you pull it back a little ways, it opens the dust cover. If you pull it back all the way, it pulls this area back, which exposes the hop-up adjuster. To close this area that covers the hop-up adjuster, you can either push it here, or you can push this piece here on the other side. To close the dust cover, you've got to do it manually. Right here is the mag release button. And I made an error earlier. This is actually a mid cap mag. And I think most mid caps hold about 100 to 150 BBs. I didn't see anywhere in the instructions where it said how much it holds, but maybe we'll check that out later. This gun will take both 7.4 and 11.1 batteries. I have an 11.1 LiPo battery. As I mentioned before, this is an electronic programmable gearbox. So when you first plug it in, it'll beep once, which is normal. If it beeps five times, then your battery is low. If it beeps two times, then something's stuck. And if it beeps three times, the voltage is too high. Since it's programmable, you can program the sensitivity of the trigger, you can program it to a burst mode. So when you're in the automatic setting, you can either have it completely fully automatic or you can have it do two rounds, three rounds, four rounds, or five round bursts. And then there's something that's really cool. I'm not sure what they call it, but it's kind of like a quick firing mode. And here's what it does. When you do a normal trigger pull, it fires, but then when you release it, it also fires. So let's say you're in an airsoft field and fully automatic is not allowed. So you can, Fire, then release, fire, 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 fire. So it's like a double fire. Pop, 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 pop. And I think that's really cool. All right, so let's go chrono this gun. 
All right, bros, I'm gonna go ahead and chrono this. Um, before I do, I wanna let you know that I'm gonna be using 0.2 gram BBs, because uh, that's kind of the standard for Airsoft. And another thing I wanna note to you is that I put the run cam on the front here so I can try to get some shots in first person or barrel view. And in order to do that, I had to move the front side back here. All right. 303.1. Three hundred three point one again. Three hundred four point eight. Three hundred six point five. Three hundred four point two. Three hundred five point nine. Three hundred six point five. Three hundred seven point six. Three hundred five point nine. And 305.9, so out of 10 shots, your lowest was 303.1, your highest was 307.6, and your average was 305.4. So just above 300. That's pretty good for this AEG. All right, guys, now I'm gonna show you a little bit about the programmable system. So what you do is you put it in safe, and then you hold the trigger down for three seconds and then you'll hear like a very light beep, 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 three beeps. All right, you'll do that first and then if you select it one time, you can select if you wanna put it in burst modes and how many burst. If you press it two times, then you go into trigger sensitivity and then if you go three times, then you can get that kind of uh, double trigger. So let's do this first. Let's do the burst mode. So I'm gonna hold it down for three times and I'm gonna put it close so you can hear it. So that was three, so now I'm gonna press one, and it beeps, and now I'm gonna say three. So I'm gonna go for three burst. One, two, three. All right, so now I move it into full auto and check it out. It's giving me three round burst. Pretty cool, right? All right, now, Let's do this. Let's show you the double shot mode. So let's turn it back to safe. Let's go into program mode. That's three. Now we'll do one, two, three. And that gives us into the third mode. Now we'll push it once. And that should push us into the forward and backwards. See this? Check it out. I pull the trigger. Fire. Let go. Fire. So if you're in a place that, that doesn't allow full auto, you can almost do kind of like full auto like this. Pretty cool, right? It's actually very cool. I mean, that's almost full auto, bros. That's amazing. Again, you can adjust the trigger sensitivity, but I'm not gonna do that in this video. Now, if you just wanna totally reset it to default, you put it back into safe and then you just hold it down for five seconds and you'll hear like one long beep. See, I don't know if you could hear it because there's a plane there. All right, but now it should be in full auto. Yep, and it is. All right, bros, I'm gonna take some shots at those Evite cans over there. They're about 40 to 45 feet away. All right, bros, now I'm gonna shoot it in full auto. Now I'm going to shoot the cans in the double firing mode. All right, bros, now I'm about 70 feet away from those cans. And let's do a range test. Now I'm going to shoot the can in the double firing mode.
All right, bros, before I get into my final thoughts, I wanna talk a little bit more about this gun. First of all, the gun that I have here came with two springs, and this is the Japanese version because they want the power around 300 FPS, and so they use a weaker spring in that. But I think in Japan they also send it with an extra spring in case, you know, they wanna give it more power. If you get this in Europe or the US, you get it with this spring, and this is an M130 spring, and the one in here is an M95. If I loaded this M130 spring in here, I would get around 430 FPS, and I think that would be pretty awesome. I also found out that this mag holds 180 BBs. Now, when I was using the gun, I thought it performed really well, and I wasn't even aiming. I was basically doing point and shoot. If you noticed, I had a GoPro on my cap, and I didn't really want to lean my head over to aim because then the camera would you know, twist sideways. So I was basically just aiming like this. And as I said, I wasn't really aiming. I was just kind of point and shooting and watching the BBs fly. For just pointing and shooting, it was pretty accurate for just hitting those little e-bike cans. So hitting a, another player would be pretty easy. As you saw, the range for about 70 feet was, um, you know, I was hitting those cans at 70 feet. To me, that spring would be good if you're gonna be doing CQB play or if you're gonna be doing speed soft or something indoors. And I think probably a lot of indoor airsoft fields may make you, you know, t turn it down to 300 FPS. For outdoor play, I would definitely use the M130 spring. And I didn't load it in here, but um, I think your range would probably be pretty darn good with this. I really like the programmable gearbox and I think it's a solid gun. All right guys, it's shout out time. The first shout out goes to Jeremiah Castro with the Nerf Rival Charger. The next shout out goes to Gabriel's World. The next shout out goes to Jack Larson. The next shout out goes to Muhammad Abdullah. The next shout out goes to Anas Youssef 99. The next shout out goes to AHC Crafts. The next shout out goes to Giovanni Olivio. The next shout out goes to Music Man. The next shout out goes to Don Bluff. The next shout out goes to Gloria Mutale. The next shout out goes to Thomas Trajano 18. The next shout out goes to Alphon Zeng. The next shout out goes to Freddy FB. The next shout out goes to Austin Castillo. The next shout out goes to Montes Airsoft. The next shout out goes to Hannah Castro Banana on Head. The next shout out goes to McRocks No Commentary. The next shout out goes to Amanda Bernal. The next shout out goes to Mateo, Bava, and Lee Peck. The next shout out goes to Sunny Solanga. The next shout out goes to Cusk Eel Nerf YT. The next shout out goes to Songo PL. The next shout out goes to Frankie Garcia. The next shout out goes to Ronaldo Flores. The next shout out goes to M16A1. The next shout out goes to Dieter Games. The next shout out goes to Taran Popstar. The next shout out goes to File Y Mayo Nang. The next shout out goes to Call of Duty God Player. Hey bros, if you want a shout out, then go to the community tab on our channel and go to the most recent post and type, I want a shout out. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Be happy, peace out.